hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new you're welcome to my channel so in today's video we are going to be looking at my recent skincare favorites now i have chosen one or two products from each category like a cleanser serum moisturizer sunscreen and all of that i do not have a toner here because i haven't uh, really tried any new toners recently uh, because the ones that i have are going to be expiring in another couple of months so i just want to get done with it and then buy some new toners so other than that i have uh, one in each category especially if you are an acne prone uh, person and if you're looking for some good recommendations i have some amazing products for you so continue watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do take a moment to do that too it will mean a lot to me now let's get into the video the first product that we're going to be talking about is a cleanser this is from the brand called fecky I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is their Gentle Hydrating Low pH 5.5 Gel Based Cleanser. Now I know the packaging quite resembles the Cosrx Good Morning Cleanser, but I just don't want to fuss about uh, new brands copying their packaging ideas from all already established brand. Like Dot and Key is well established brand right now, but it's still copying the uh, the packaging ideas from a couple of Korean brands. So if we are okay with that, we should be okay with this one too. Uh, but anyways, coming to the product, this has hyaluronic acid, green tea, aloe vera, oatmeal and glycerin. This was such a random buy on Amazon. I saw, uh, you know, Instagram influencer use this and uh, I was quite intrigued and I got this. Trust me, you guys, this is such a gentle cleanser that does not trigger or irritate your skin even more like especially when i have breakouts like i have right now uh under my you know chin area or on my lip and everything i always go for cetaphil because i know that one cleanser will not do more harm to my skin but ever since i discovered this one and started using it i've been reaching out to it constantly it balances the ph level it does not dry out or irritate my skin even more uh, this actually retails for 500 rupees but i got it on amazon for a discounted price so if you are a beginner if you're looking for a gentle cleanser this is a gel based cleanser but i've seen a couple of dry skin people also use it and still like it so i can definitely tell this will suit all skin types you can definitely try this one i really like it i still have a little product left but i'm definitely repurchasing this one already because i know uh, this is going to be a good alternative for cetaphil like I'm not comparing the two, but for me in my, uh, you know, routine when I have a lot of irritation going on on my skin, I like to go for a gentle cleanser and sometimes I get bored of using Cetaphil, but uh, yeah, during that time I can probably use this. Okay, the next one is this serum from the brand called Pulp, but this is their Date Night Glow Superfood Serum Moisturizer. This has tremella, ceramide and pantothenic acid. Now, tremella basically is a humectant like hyaluronic acid which gives hydration to your skin and ceramide basically uh, helps in maintaining your skin barrier and pantothenic acid basically helps with uh, brightening your skin or targeting your pigmentation and acne spots basically helping in you know uneven skin tone so i saw this brand all over instagram and uh, the package and the way they marketed was quite interesting uh, so that's why i just wanted to give this one a try this is a very very good product like i use it to you know uh, layer my other strong actives like i'll show you a couple of products next so when i'm using st uh, such strong actives or spot treatments kind of serums i always like to hydrate my skin uh, first and then go ahead with such uh, strong potent products so that is when I'm using this product and it works really well. Like it gives the hydration, it gives that glow, it gives that plumpness to my skin. And I've been using it both during my daytime skincare routine under my uh, you know, vitamin C serums and during my nighttime under my retinoids or other spot treatments. And this is a really good product. But the only reason that's bothering me a little or something that I'm not quite happy with is the price is actually retails for 1095 rupees for 30 ml of product although this is a good product I don't like to recommend people to buy this on a full price like I got them on a 50% discount on their website because there are other hyaluronic acid based serums that's uh, available in the market which retails for 
half the price and some are even better than this like this might be a good product but i have better hyaluron products um in the market so the pricing of this one is my only concern but otherwise if you are willing to buy it definitely give it a try uh, buy them on the discounted price do not pay full price for this but otherwise this is a very 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 good product to try the only reason i'm so concerned about uh, pulse uh, pricing is because i have an amazing hyaluronic based serum that retails to half the price but is so much better this is a foxil keep calm daily hydrating serum it's actually retails for 549 rupees which is almost half of it and this is the best hyaluronic acid serum i have used like this one and the l'oreal one hands down the best in the uh, category it just gives you so much of hydration improves your skin texture plumps your skin really well gives that glow and everything like if you are a beginner if you don't want to use a lot of products but if you would like that hydration moisturization and glow in your skin give this one a try this is such a good serum i i really love using this like even on days when i'm quite lazy to use a lot of uh, skincare products and i just want to keep it very simple a cleanser foxtail serum a moisturizer and if it's a daytime a sunscreen that's it like i switch between the pulp one and this but i find this more effective and this one has my heart you guys like this okay let's let's just ignore how i look because i didn't want to do do anything much it's too humid here in chennai so irrespective of what i do i'm just going to start sweating so i've just done my brows some mascara and lipstick that's it i i want to keep it a little realistic showing you my skin situation when i'm talking about my skin care favorites like i thought that would make a lot more sense so let's just ignore this phase and concentrate on the products the next one is from dr shets this is their neem and dha spot clarifying serum this has uh, 2% salicylic acid neem oil green tea extract and niacinamide now this and the other product that i'm going to be mentioning are my two most favorite products from this brand like i really love how dr shets has uh, incorporated the indian ayurvedic ingredients with the english ingredients and combined it together so very well like neem of course like we all know neem fight against um, fights against uh, bacterial acne and helps you treating active acne and pigmentations and all of that bha is a very good ingredient to mildly exfoliate your skin unclog your pores again for acne and acne scars and sun damages and everything so both of these ingredients together with salicylic acid niacinamide and green tea this is an absolute brilliant you guys this twice a week on my you know uh, targeted areas like to clear my blackheads or whiteheads i use it on my nose my chin area if i have a lot of acne and pigmentations and sun damage i use it uh, on my cheeks and you know my lower chin and everything does wonders you guys use it for two or three weeks and you'll see so much of difference especially with blackheads whiteheads and acne and acne scars this works wonders even if you are a beginner definitely give this one a try because it has less potent of salicylic acid and the bha and neem everything is balanced it will not trigger your skin even more although the brand tells that you can use it both during the day time and night time i would recommend using anything that has bha or aha only during night time and use a good sunscreen during the day time do not sleep uh, with your sunscreen that's really important especially when you have used a product like you know the exfoliating uh, agents you need to protect your skin irrespective of whether you are staying indoors or going outdoors sunscreen is really important so i absolutely love this product uh, and little goes a long way like i don't know if i mentioned the price this retails for 750 rupees but a little goes a long way uh, with this product and it almost has 2 years of shelf life so yeah this is my most favorite product from dr shets definitely give this one a try Okay, the next product is again from Dr. Shets. This is their Ashwagandha and Alpha Arbutin Serum. This has 2.5 percentage of L-arginine, which again gives that uh, hydration and moisture uh, to the skin. And then it has 2 percentage of Alpha Arbutin, 2 percentage of Kojic Acid Beads, Licorice Extract, and Ashwagandha Extract. All of these four ingredients that I just listed out 
uh, helps in your pigmentations, uneven skin tone, brightening up your skin and uh, you know reducing your dark spots and everything. This is again a bomb product. Like I, when I started using it, I had massive acne scars that were adamant and that were there on my skin for almost months. Okay, and when I started using it, I saw a difference. I saw difference within a few days. Like I wouldn't say this is a miracle product that will change your skin and everything. Uh, no. But there were other things that I had also incorporated in my skincare routine. This is such a good product. When I started using it, I really loved it. This is my second bottle and I have almost emptied half of it. Like, yeah, I have almost emptied half. Arvids, acne, acne scars, um, with pigmentations and everything. But if you have used vitamin C serums and if vitamin C serums did not suit you, Alpha Albertin is a very good alternative. It does the same as vitamin C serums. It brightens up and it protects you from sun damage, targets your uneven skin tone and everything. So you can definitely give this one a try. This is very gentle on the skin as well. This retails for 695 rupees. Like I really love this product. Uh, I know I've, I've been saying that to every other product, but seriously, I've seen results and um, uh, you know, doctor chefs have been doing really well with their ingredients and the way they've come up with, you know, the Indian Ayurvedic ingredients uh, with the English ingredients. Beautiful. I also have seen uh, the buy one get one sale happening on their website. So if it's still there, you can grab these two if you have acne and acne related concerns. Product is a moisturizer from the Formula RX. This is the Barrier Relief Lightweight Moisturizer. This product goes all over the internet, their aesthetic packaging, uh, you know, like everybody who have used this product were raving about it. So I just wanted to give it a try and see what is the hype about it. But you guys, this product is worth every bit of the hype given to it. Like when I'm using such strong serums like I showed earlier or vitamin C or retinol, I like to hydrate my skin double the amount that I would usually do. And a hydrating serum and a barrier relief a moisturizer or, you know, moisturizers that usually maintains the skin barriers like this is something that I absolutely love. It just protects my skin even though I'm using such strong ingredients. The texture of this, how lightweight it feels and still gives that moisturizing effect and hydration to the skin is really good. Almost used it. Uh, there's a little bit of product left, but I know for sure I am repurchasing this one. I absolutely love this. This is one of the best moisturizers I have discovered in the recent times. Uh, it, like, like I said, they have a lot of variants. If you are interested, you can try uh, one of their variants. I really love this, you guys. Okay, the next product is another moisturizer. This is from Pilgrim. This is a Squalling Glow Moisturizer with niacinamide and vitamin C. Another very good moisturizer that I've discovered in recent times. It's very lightweight, but it hydrates and moisturizes my skin really well. Like squalene is a very good ingredient to uh, multiple skin concerns. Like it hydrates, smoothens your skin, targets aging signs and uh, you know, recovers your skin from any sun damage and everything. Niacinamide and vitamin C needs no introduction again. This product will suit all skin types and this has no artificial fragrance or whatsoever. Even if you have sensitive skin, you can definitely give us one a try. This actually retails for 550 rupees. And again, get them on discounts on their websites. Uh, they usually have a lot of discounts going on beautiful product and um, I like products that sits very you know lightweight on my skin because uh, I'll be layering with a sunscreen and then maybe a makeup later on so I don't want my moisturizers to feel heavy but still I want my moisturizer to hydrate and moisturize my skin really well so you know, I, I hope that point was clear both of these moisturizers are the best ones I've uh, seen recently so I'm worth buying this one as well. Okay, the next product is internet's favorite. This is the Dot and Key Vitamin C plus E uh, Super Bright Sunscreen with SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. We all know the sunscreen game has changed and there are so many good sunscreens in the market. I've been trying out so many myself but the reason I wanted to give this one a shout out in the videos because 
I think constantly using this because of the texture, it's so lightweight, it, it leaves no white cast and it has vitamin C plus E, like there are days when I'm too lazy, so I just uh, keep my skincare routine very short, like cleansing, a serum and this, like this acts as a moisturizer and as a sunscreen. Don't do it on a regular basis, but we all have days, right? And it has worked for me. And even underneath makeup, this sits so beautifully. Like, this is a really good sunscreen. Like, I'm really obsessed with it. I actually have a backup even before I have finished this one. This actually is my second, uh, you know, tube. And I already have a backup, which is still sealed. I've not opened it. That is how much I'm obsessed with this uh, product. And, uh, I mean, even Aquilogica sunscreen is good. Urquism is good. I have both of those as well uh, but sometimes I feel like Aquilogica sunscreens give too much glow especially skin tint or something like that or just a concealer kind of a makeup the glow that Aquilogica gives is too much especially for an oily skin makeup like sometimes I don't really like the glow but sometimes it's just a little too much for me to handle but this one gives the right amount of glow a very subtle one and I really love this you guys i really really love this i would recommend people this as well and uh, yeah to the last two products and both of these are lip products the first one is from pilgrim this is the squalene peppermint lip serum and then we have dot and t gloss boss lip balm uh, with vitamin c plus a spf 30 in the radiant mango passion i've been loving this combo so much like uh, right after I cleanse my face, I use this on my lips and I let it sit on my lips until I finish all of my skincare. This gives that cooling effect and moisturizes the lips so well. And then I blot the excess of it and um, go ahead with this lip balm. This is SPF 30. Another good lesson learned in the past few months is using a lip balm with SPF. Trust me, it helps with the lip pigmentation and especially if you, you know, if you're exposed to a lot of sun damage, definitely apply a lip balm with SPF. So I've been loving this combo so much. If you have uh, dry chapel lips or if you're someone who uses liquid lipsticks regularly, try this combo. It will moisturize your lips so well. So yeah. So with that, we come to an end and I hope you guys liked the video and found some good recommendations. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye.